Hey guys, it's me, Icon Tech. Uh, today I'm gonna show you on how I check my electrical room and uh, all the circuit breaker. But before I will do that, uh, first, please uh, click subscribe and like. Also, share it with your family, friends, and don't forget to click the notification bell for you to be updated on all my videos. Thank you. This is the uh, main uh, uh, power source of the elevator. And this is the transfer bypass switch. This is uh, I uh, check this every month. I actually like do the manual transfer, like uh, transferring the uh, power from the city to uh, the uh, power from the generator so this is just the, the breakers so uh, what I do is I'll make sure that this uh, breaker is on the, uh, their own and there's nothing stripped like that I just check them every day Everything is okay. So this one is off. So off is number 17. So in the number 17 is rope spare. So it's okay to be off because nothing connected with it and the rest is and there's another one off if you can see everything is in here and this one is on this side so that's off number 47 47 it's a space so it's okay this one's good will be the uh, circuit breaker for the laundry they're all okay this is for the laundry room dryer one two three laundry room wash washer one two three four they're all good So the next will be the domestic hot water on uh, lower zone. So this is what I do. I make sure that there's no problem, they're working properly, all of these tanks. I make sure that all of the all of the pressure is correct and the 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 returns they supply water and the return I'll make sure that all of the pressure and the uh, and the temperature is correct because you know if the water supply that comes from here it's too hot like uh, I'll show you right now the water temperature is one 130 uh, degree Fahrenheit and it's supposed to be just 120 that's the acceptable uh, temperature for the uh, people not to be burned because when when you're taking shower and uh, the water temperature is above 120 that's too hot so there's a possibility that when you turn on your shower you will get burned your skin will be burned so this this mixing bulb that's why we have mixing bulb so there's a uh, hot water and there's cold water so 
this is the mixing bulb for the hot water hot water and then this is the cold water then it will mix together so from here both of the hot and cold water will be mixed and up from here the output of the water it should be 120 degrees Fahrenheit so that's the uh, function of this device mixing bulb so above from there what I used to what I'm supposed to be seeing is 120 degrees which is yes it is 120 well actually it's more than 120 122 but it's just two degree more so it's okay so this is what I do guys and the next one will be the PRB the PRB or pressure reducing bulb PRB system which is the function will be uh, from here if you notice the pressure is from uh, uh, 110 psi and on the output it's just only 80 psi so the function of the PRB guys is to uh, lessen the the pressure next one will be the uh, communication and security room so what I do here nothing much to do in here just make sure that everything is good every internet is working like this all of the connection is working fine this one so far so good the uh, security system of the building making sure that it's on and it's working properly and the internet is working as well so far so good so I don't have to go in there and that's it this will be quick uh, check in the mechan uh, communication room okay the main electrical room make sure that the all of the switch is open all of the this is the main switch that if that will turn off all of the power of the building will shut down so search protection the search protection is what it will do is, in case there's a power interruption, there's will like uh, protect the mechanical, all of the electronics of the mechanicals not to be burned. There's no removal or this. This time it's not working. Yeah. This this time they are turned on because summer. And the most uh, important one is the the uh, digital monitor for the uh, carbon monoxide this carbon monoxide level in the parking garage is so important because you know when uh, uh, this is the level that it has to be the maximum allowable short-term exposure and in, uh, in the P1 with the with the carbon monoxide level is 9. Above 9 you have to be go out on uh, P1 because uh, you will be suffocated. So 
this one I make sure that this ppm or parts per million is no more than uh, 9 ppm so these are the, uh, the possible things that happen when you inhale the, the uh, carbon monoxide possible health effect with long-term exposure max exposure 8, eight hours 25 uh, carbon monoxide so what I do is to make sure that the uh, PPM level is not more than 9 so it will be acceptable or allowable for people to stay in, on the parking garage. So right now the uh, PPM is this PPM right now it's 7 maximum 7 so it's less than 9 so it's good so uh, and in case the PPM level will go up. This uh, fan is designed to automatically run. It's an auto, so it will run automatically. So it will uh, the the fan exhaust fan will run to take out the bad air from the building to for the people to be able to go in the parking garage. Next is the. Next is the sprinkler room. So here in the sprinkler room, I uh, check the the irrigation system. The irrigation system, make sure that it's working well. Right now it's currently working. Remaining time one hour and twenty-three minutes. So it's working fine. And this is the booster pump. A booster pump is what it will do is the water from the city because the water from the city supplies a lot of building and sometimes uh, the power, the pressure is getting weaker once it gets to the building. So this booster pump will, will take the water from the city and push it up a little bit stronger to boost the pressure to go up in the building. So I check this every day and right now the booster pump number two is the one that works and the pressure from the city is 52 psi and after the booster pump the pressure will is uh, I mean 108 psi so the booster pump will push it harder to make it uh, a stronger pressure and the next one is the compressor compressor supplying the air to the fire pump this is the fire pump this is the fire pump this will not run unless there's a, a fire in the building this pump will automatically, automatically run and release water to the sprinkler if there's a fire. This is the pressure I check every day. I make sure that this pressure is on the right level nothing uh, especially this jockey pump pressure the jockey pump pressure which is 162 psi I'll make sure that this psi will not go down to 142 unless this uh, fire pump 
successful one even without any trouble or any fire. So right now they're all good. I'm just gonna check it. I'm just gonna record the uh, pressure. So guys, next we'll be on the rooftop. I will be checking all the mechanicals in there. I'm on my way to, to the roof. Temperature is 94 psi. Looking to pass up now, sir. To pass up now, sir. Ako lang ang nakakapunta dito kasi ako lang ang allowed na pumunta rito. So Papakita ko yung CN Tower. Kita dito. para magkaroon ng action na malamig na tubig bago pumasok sa sa condenser at yun naman ang yung tubig na lalabas dito sa cooling tower pupunta ngayon sa chiller chiller room para naman lalong palamigin yung Okay, papasok ako. So first is the cooling tower, cooling tower panel, and the boiler room. So I checked ko ito araw-araw. Ino-operate ko rin kung mayroong problema na ayos ko. Ngayon, kung kailangan kailangan ng mga technician para ayusin, yun tumatawag. Ako ang tumatawag ng ng uh, mga technician para pumunta dito para gawin. Ito yung parang ito yung nagpapainit sa tubig ito yung nagluluto ito naman yung parang refrigerator ng ng building ito yung chiller room so guys ito yung trabaho ko everyday Kinecheck ko itong mga to. Pasensya na, may ingay. Ito yung nasa video kagabi. 
Ito yung isa sa nasa video ko. Condensed pump. So this is the inside of the inside the mechanicals of the elevator room. Make up your unit. Make up your unit. Ito naman yung nagpapalamig sa sa mga hallways. Tapos yung mga ventilation. Generator room. generator room I run this one every week check everything before I run and do the transfer every month make sure na pag nag run out itong generator na to ay aandar para mag bigay ng temporary electrical supply sa mga units at sa mga uh, some other mechanical sa building kasi kung totally shut down at ito hindi gumana pag napakainit walang AC, lahat-lahat wala na kasi wala nang gagana so ito ang emergency power supply ng building Solar panel. So guys, uh, so ganyan ang ginagawa ko everyday. Tinecheck ko lahat ng mga mechanicals and electricals ng uh, building. And at the same time, kung mayroong mga deliveries and uh, move-in, move-outs. Tapos kung uh, mayroong mga trades na kailangan kong samahan, ayun po, uh, sinasamahan ko sila. So yun ang trabaho ko. So meron namang isang meron namang days na napaka-busy. Meron maraming days na na pag natapos ko itong mechanicals, wala na akong ginagawa every uh, nang nang for the whole for the rest of the day, I mean. So yun, pag ganun nangyari, di maganda, nagkakaroon ako ng time para mag-whitey whitey. Ayun. Ayun guys. Thank you very much sa panunood. Hanggang sa muli. Uh, ito po si Ekong Tech. Sana patuloy niyong suportahan. Uh, 
muli po, uh, nagpapasalamat ako sa inyong panonood. Kung kayo po ay hindi pa nakakapag-subscribe uh, sa akin, please, please click, click uh, hit uh, subscribe and uh, yung like button. Pakishare na rin sa mga friends ninyo, sa family ninyo, relatives, at uh, please uh, click mo yung notification bell para ma-notify ka in every videos na gagawin ko. Thank you very much. See you. Bye-bye.